Mm. You said you moved to Renton in 1927, is that right? Well, we came to Renton, yes. My father mm. took the, the, the farm for Renton eh, from the Cali Estate, okay. Linton, okay. and we, we got the 800 acres, no, 750 acres for 400 pounds. And that was a, a fairly, but the Renton had not been farmed very well. It had been ranched by a farmer who had five farms and let the place grow into a terrible mess with undergrowth and scrub and rubbish and uh, rabbits. Rabbits mm -hmm. was a very serious problem. They, they could eat about three acres of ground about your, uh, your field of, uh, of, of oats. Oats was the main thing that we grew. And the rabbits were a very serious problem. In fact, I put a note, uh, a wire between myself and the <coughs> Borland of Gartham, which was a, a very bad for, for rabbits spreading. And Bill Sprout, my friend, he said, uh, the West, he called it the West Wall. I had a rabbit proof fence up to the West side. We spread, spent a lot of time gassing and uh, gassing the holes and uh, trying to kimp on top of a rabbit. But there was a man. A rabbit killer, each the farms would have two, he would, a rabbit killer would be a professional killer of rabbits and he would pay to have the right the, to kill the rabbits and there would be thousands of tons of leave the stations uh, in one of days of rabbits going from south to be eaten by the the people in the towns down south. So this, I never really made started making money on Renton until myxomatosis. The myxomatosis was the disease that killed the, the rabbits, and it made a very good job of rabbits. The, 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 it is still effective, it still does, uh, works uh, to kill the rabbits if they get two. So I could uh, double the, the stock that I put on the farm when I got rid of the rabbits and it was a very, very rather a nasty thing but it was effective. My cheese making was, I worked for six months in the dairy as a cheese maker when I was a boy, just to learn the cheese making procedure. And uh, that involved a, a very notable sort of test by using a hot iron. They put the cheese up against the hot iron and it frizzled and then you drew it away and the length of the string that the cheese made indicated the acidity of the milk, you see. And that was how the, the, one of the procedures on the cheese making that I remember. Um, so how long have you been involved in cheese making for? Well, we, it was a standard procedure at farms far from the consuming centres to make. So cheese making was made by all the dairies round about the Stuart tree. Mm. And uh, so I grew up with cheese making. It was a standard way of getting rid of the summer milk. It would start in the summer and uh, manufacturing took place during the summer time when the milk was coming out from the grass. So it was profitable. It was grass turned into milk.
Have you seen a big change or a contrast between what it was like then compared to now? Well, cheese making now has become much more academic. It's a bit more the acidity testing has become, which is the key to the making of cheese, has become academic. Mm. They use you can use chemical methods of more simply making the acidity reading. Yeah. But the essential cheese making is the same today as it was a hundred years ago. Mm. The chisits today were, were in the old days were wooden chisits. Chisits were took the cheese at the pressing to press the way out of the cheese a mechanical procedure whereby you squeeze the, 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 the lid down into the cheese and uh, I believe that they are made in steel things now but, uh, but no the whole thing is pretty well the same these 80 pound cheeses were carried upstairs. It took a good man to carry 80 pounds. Set put in the, the cheese deals that there was nine cheeses in, and you could turn the cheese, nine cheeses all at one time. If you turned them the right way, if you turned them the wrong way, they came on the floor, but they were turned the right way. Can you remember what types of cheese you made in the first Cheddar place? cheese was the only cheese. It was the standard cheese that they made. A hard cheese like that. They gave us <clears throat> something that could be stored and kept for a while. It's also, we got uh, a gallon of milk made a pound of cheese and the, uh, we got a whey of the, of the process which we fed to the pigs and the pigs could enjoy it and uh, eat it up with great enthusiasm. Mm. And, uh, at the war, they stopped supplying food. We couldn't, they wouldn't, there wasn't enough feeding stuff in the country to feed pigs with, with the feeding stuff. And I remember Sam Hogg saying to me, it taught Hitler, it took Hitler to teach us to feed pigs profitably. They'd, they'd previously been buying too much feed, which was forced spoiling the, the, the profitability of the enterprise and um, it took Hitler to taught us to make a profit of pigs but because they didn't waste money with feeding stuff, bought feeding stuff. So that was one good thing that Hitler <laughs>